What is up everyone? It is Brad here and welcome to vlog number 19 here on the Brick Lover Vlogs channel. I am really excited to be back today, so let's get right into it. So the big question is, what is going to be happening in this week's vlog? And the answer is, I'm not entirely sure. Basically right now, I'm just here in the Lego room working on, you know, a bunch of the random projects that, you know, one does when they do Lego YouTube and social media for Lego. So for starters, you guys saw in the last vlog, I've been doing a ton of sorting. I'm like literally a ton of it. I haven't sorted since 2020. I have been really, really busy trying to get everything sorted and progress is going really well. So I'm gonna continue sorting. I have just a little few more bins left to sort and then it all should be finished. And then I'll get to put it in my Pavi Max storage container. As I said, I talked about that a lot in the last vlog. So I'm not gonna spend too much time in this vlog talking about it, but it was perfect because last vlog I was sick. You guys saw I was sick pretty much the, I think the entire thing. So it was really perfect to do some sorting. You guys can still hear me. I do sound pretty sick still. Um, I don't know what this bug that I have is, but it's okay because I am starting to feel better, which is important. Like last week, I wasn't feeling good at all. This week, I'm at least feeling a little bit better. So lots of things will be done that doesn't just involve sorting Lego. So the first order of business for tonight is I have to film an episode of Ask Brick. I actually have an episode that is set to air tomorrow, like I've got it in the calendar to air tomorrow, but I haven't filmed or edited it yet. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. I just finished setting up all the cameras and stuff like that because I had tearing it all, or torn it all down, I guess, to film my minifigure video. So you guys can see the cameras all out of focus and stuff like that there. All the colors are wonky, so I will have to fix that. But I've got my list of questions pulled up here, so I'll have to answer them. And then, as I said, just change all the coloring and stuff like that over here on the camera. So I've got like everything all set up there, all prearranged. So set it to five, set it to 400. And I should be ready to film now. So here we are. There I can see myself on the big screen as well. Something looks wrong with that memory card. It looks like there's a lot. I'll have to switch it up there. Only one minute uh, and 24 seconds left. But I've also got to put on my mic, I just realized. So let's get suited up and let's get filming this week's episode. All right, I finished filming Asperic number 67 and 68. I'm actually in the process of editing 67 right now because that is obviously the one that is going live tomorrow. So I'm about halfway done the edit there, which is going well. I want a little bit of a break from it though, so I might do some Lego sorting, but I actually might work on the Bricklink store. I've got like a bunch of parts here that I have from like my Bricks in the Six haul and like uh, Brick World haul that I could add to the store here. So like these ones are all parts that can be added in. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna add these to the store right now and just try and resort some of this inventory. You guys won't really catch a lot of that in the Bricklink vlog or in this vlog because I've been working on a Bricklink vlog for the last month or so. Uh, but I also have all these sets to part out, which I really should, I should get to. Sometimes like the YouTube business gets really busy, so I neglect the Bricklink store, but I think I should do a little bit today while I have a little bit of time. All right, so I just finished adding all the parts to my Bricklink store. I didn't film anything, like I said, because that is for the Bricklink vlog. And then one of my friends just called me, so I spent a little bit more time sorting. So like, I'm really getting down to the amount of parts that I have left to sort, which is really exciting. And then I've just been working on like tidying up the Lego room here just to get it all back and clean. And then of course I've got to edit that video because it needs to get finished and uploaded ASAP. I'm doing a little Lego set building tonight this is a set that I built this version of a few years ago but I tore it all down and I'm building the UFO version the main version on the front page there so I just finished tearing down all the parts and I've actually started doing the build and while I was doing that I was listening to the a couple of Brickhead's new Figonomics live stream Figonomics yeah, yeah I said that right so very cool been enjoying that so far and I will be continuing to build so I just finished filming my review of the Brick Mania figures that I got while I was in Chicago this is the Gangster and the Lawman which is Al Capone and Elliot Ness which I'm really excited about so I just did a full review of those minifigures because yesterday I just finished editing the Brick Mania store tour so I wanted the minifigure tour the minifigure review to come out shortly after that so I'm excited this stupid light here in the Lego room just keeps falling, which is really annoying. I've continued to try and tape it back up and command strip it back up, but it just keeps falling down and oh, I hate these lights so much. I wish this room just had built-in lights, but as you can see, there's not a single light fixture in this whole room. So that's why I'm stuck with all my artificial lights. This tray here is all the Lego that I actually have left to sort from the massive sort, which I'm really excited about. So once that's done, I'll move this out of the way because I've got some more other videos to film. And I feel like if I do some of like the sorting or like some of the building from these parts down here, like I mentioned, I might find some more things to sort. So I want to try and see if I can do that before I start filming part number two. As well as I did finish building the UFO set earlier today, which is awesome 
awesome. So that means my table is now cleared off and ready to do more work with. It is Monday now and it is the first time I've been here in the Lego room in a little while. This weekend I actually went to Ohio with some friends like Ohio USA, which is pretty cool. I've been in the US since uh, Brickworld. So I ventured over to Ohio this weekend just to do some amusement parks, but I am back here now in the Lego city. I honestly don't even remember really where I left off in the last vlog. Like, like what clip or anything like that. I know I've just been continuing to work on a bunch of the same projects here in the Lego room. Obviously one being the Lego sort, which is almost, almost, almost finished. So I just moved it all over there to get it out of the way. I was actually over here as well in the Lego city filming a bunch of things for the Brick Mania minifigure video, which you guys definitely would have seen me film last week. Like I've got the background out here and it is the two minifigures of Elliot Ness and Al Capone. So I've got them up here. I put the packaging back here and I put the minifigures back here now that I'm done filming, but I filmed a bunch of clips in the city with them that like turned out really well. There was like one clip where I started the camera up here and I like panned it down here and used the the DSLR and everything like that. So really, really good shot. So I just had to move uh, the DSLR back over here now and I ordered a new power bank for it, which I'm really excited about. And one of the things right now that I need to work on is the Lego Insider. So I've got a whole video plan for the Lego Insiders and scanning the instructions and things like that, but I haven't actually had a chance to really deep dive into the Insiders program. So right now I'm gonna be going through and actually scanning all of my instruction manuals to get as many new VIP points as I can. All of my instruction manuals from all over the years are actually underneath this table here under all the fabric. So they're not like super easy to get to. And of course, not a single one of them is sorted or organized in any way. All right, guys, I got all my instruction manuals pulled out from under the Lego City table. I have these massive boxes here. If anything, this progress has told me that I need to do some more work for the instructions because I have, like if I needed to rebuild a set, it's just easier to go online and find the instructions because this is ridiculous. This is not... This isn't feasible, so I think I'll do some sorting while I'm doing this right now, but this is how many LEGO instructions that I've essentially hoarded over the years. So I finished sorting all of the instruction manuals here. This bin is all instructions that either don't have a QR code or came out before 2018. These ones here as well, none of them have QR codes. Haven't finished going through this bin yet just because I, I think most of them don't have QR codes as well. But these ones here, they all have QR codes. So this is just like the first page. Like if it's a, and the set has like four or five instruction manuals, part of it, only the first page has instruction manuals. So all of these ones here have QR codes and then none of these ones here. So progress as well, but it takes a long time for sure to sort out which ones have the QR codes and which ones don't. All right, so I actually finished scanning all of my instruction manuals and I put them in here. These are all from 2018 to now, so they fill up about half that tub, which is honestly pretty realistic. It didn't, it probably took me half an hour, 40 minutes or so to scan all the manuals in, so could have taken much longer, which is not too bad. And then all of these ones, this whole box guaranteed as known, and all the ones here on the floor don't have any QR codes as well. This box I never went through, but I don't think most of it does. But I am just going to go through the rest of them there just to double check that all the ones I've scanned are actually, like I've actually scanned all the ones that have QR codes. Uh, so then I can tell you how many VIP points I actually got from it. But you guys can see I do have a lot of instructions that don't have QR codes. That is because I've been collecting Lego, I guess, since uh, 2008. So it's been a while. Also, this footage probably won't make the insiders video, but I did find two errors with the instruction manuals. So for the starters one here, the Lego friend set, this one actually scanned in as a completely different set. It was like a Marvel set when I scanned it in. I still got to log it into my collection, but the QR code, you guys can even scan it there if you want to check it out for yourself, but it does not scan it in for the friends set, which is really interesting. And then this one here, if I'm not mistaken, this was a Lego gift with purchase. Like I, I'm positive it was a gift with purchase. But it has a QR code here, which is weird because all of the other sets that I scanned in, not a single one that was a gift with purchase has a QR code. All of the gift with purchases, regardless of when they were purchased or like when they came out, do not have QR codes. Except for this one. I'm positive it was a gift with purchase though. So far, I've actually been able to get most of the instruct, all the instruction manuals actually, and most of the other boxes back under the Lego city table. That's why the lights are in the center there. I actually managed to get more under the city table this time than the last time. Like even look at the Titanic boxes finally under there. So very, very good because the city table 
the city looks great up here and it's meant for storage down here and that's why i even cover it up with all these black pieces of fabric because i don't want you to see anything going on here i also just finished filming the sit down text portion of the lego insiders video which i'm really excited about so set up the camera and everything there and i just started importing all of the footage i've got to get the footage from this camera that i'm filming on as well as this camera here i've even got some on my other iphone so lots of cameras used in the production of this video and hoping to edit that Oh no, I dropped a pick a brick cup. Luckily it wasn't a big one, but I caught that on video. Anyway, hoping to edit that video sometime tonight or tomorrow. I told the story in my Bricklink vlog, but last night I was here in my Lego room packing some orders for Bricklink and I was missing a lot. I spent 45 minutes trying to find this piece. I tore apart this entire room. I tore apart the Bricklink room. It was awful. I could not find this part anywhere. I knew I had basically just added it to my collection or like to my inventory. So I thought that it might be in here somewhere. Like that was what I was originally thinking. So I searched this bin multiple times. I searched all of these boxes up here and I searched all of these bins as well well i literally could not find the part anywhere and then the very last second literally right after emailing the buyer saying i had lost their part i found it lo and behold right there super super frustrating and this is why friends it's really important to keep an organized brickling store because i literally as i said wasted 45 minutes doing that when i could have been doing something way more productive but trying to be more productive from last night i've been here in the lego room pretty much all evening ever since i got home from work just doing a bunch of editing so i just finished editing a reel for the al capone and the brick mania minifigures here so very very happy for the, how this is looking for short form which i think is really cool also just edited a thumbnail for the lego pet mosaics as well as edited and did the thumbnail for the lego insiders video which i'm really really excited about you guys saw me film that yesterday uh, i was really happy to get that edited today and it's going up on the youtube channel tomorrow which is really exciting so i have these two videos scheduled there which is really really awesome i've got a lot more filming that i'm going to try and get done tomorrow because there's a lot of things going on and I, i'm just feeling very good i'm feeling very I'm, I'm not as sick as i used to be like last week so i'm just feeling very happy very productive and ready to tackle things as they come along i have no idea why those last few clips were out of focus that is so bizarre but i think i fixed the camera now also this is the final little bit of lego that i have to sort so I want to get this done tomorrow because I need, need to, need to move into stage two of sorting the Lego collection. I'm working on a video right now where I'm building a bunch of bitches Lego sets and one of the sets I'm going to be building is 6356. I just finished disassembling it here, but you guys can see a lot of the parts here are pretty dirty and pretty yellow. So I think before I actually start filming this video and build this set, I'm going to go to my bathroom and wash it. You guys have seen me wash Lego a lot now. It is not that big of a deal. I just use... My spare sink here, which is perfect. All the parts in. I'm gonna swish everything around just because it is really dirty. And normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm actually gonna be taking a toothbrush today and scrubbing all of the parts down. I'm just gonna be doing this today because these parts are particularly dirty and I don't think just rinsing them under the water will get it, so it's very important that I get some of this grime off. So actually I realized a bunch of the pieces are just really yellow. I did as much as I can, but especially a lot of the white, like they're yellow and beyond repair, but that's okay. Like I knew what I was getting into when I bought this set. Like I couldn't unfortunately get a lot of this dirt off because it's not dirt, it's literally just discoloration and yellowing, uh, but at least the parts are a little bit cleaner now for the build. Now I'm just gonna take some of these packages to the post office. I am so proud of myself here, guys. I've done it, I have finished sorting all of my Lego. Look at that, that tray is empty. All the Lego has been sorted, all the Lego that I've been sorting for the last few weeks, it's all between here and these bins over here. The only tray left to do is this one right here, and that's because it's got a bunch of city parts in it, and I'm not sorting it yet because I'm gonna list some of them on Bricklink just because I don't, I have like 10 copies of the set in there. I don't need all of those parts. And these ones here, there are some parts in here. These are all pre-sorted, so it's gonna be really easy, but what I wanna do is I wanna start putting the parts away in the second sorting vlog, just because some of these parts I also can list on the Bricklink store. I don't need all of them, so I just wanna see kind of what quantities that I have here in my collection before I start doing that. But I'm very very excited this took me a really long time to do so this is a huge milestone now that I finished a bunch of the sorting I'm just kind of working on tidying up the Lego room here you guys can see this part of the room is pretty crystal clear which is really exciting and I've got to do some Lego building now so I've got a bunch of sets over here that need to be built and I'm not even I don't even look over there it's kind of messy but lots of cool things coming but this it just feels like a whole bunch of relief has been taken off my shoulders
So I've been going ahead and building a bunch of the vintage sets for that video that I made, I want to make. So I've got the fire plane right there, the fire helicopter, the rescue helicopter there. I've got a medical plane as well as this space set, which is really cool. So, so far I have built four of the five and the only remaining one I have left to build is this Lego system space set. So very excited. This was a fun video to make just because it got me building some vintage sets, talking about them and just getting them out of my backlog because I just had way too many that still need to be built. So I'll probably have to do another video like this. And right now I'm also working on a video for Lego Modulex. If you guys see up here in the far back corner, that bin right there, that contains a bunch of Lego Modulex that I purchased probably back in 2017. I've, I bought it at a thrift store for $5, I think, and I've never opened it since. Literally never, I maybe opened it once since, but it's just been there and I know what's in it and I've just never done anything with it. So that is finally time to change and I'm gonna do work on it right now, like open it up, clean it, stuff like that, and actually make a video for it. I've also now finished building all of the vintage sets that I was building for the Building 5 Vintage Sets video. So really excited about that, had a lot of fun building them all. I built them in order that they're gonna appear on the video, which was really cool. And uh, a lot of these are pretty cool sets. Some of them are a little bit older, some of them are a little bit rougher shape. Fun fact, this is now the oldest Lego set that I have in my Lego collection. This one came out in 1982, which was almost like 20 years before I was born. I was born in 99, so pretty crazy there. So really excited to add that one. My next step will obviously be putting these somewhere in the Lego room, but I don't know where they're gonna go. And I mentioned in that video as well, this set I was not planning on keeping because I at first I didn't think I really liked it. I was just gonna build it, make sure all the parts were there and then probably list it for sale. But I actually kind of like it. So I'll probably end up keeping it and finding somewhere for it to go. I'm also working on the Modulex video. So I've been disassembling all of the assembled Modulex parts here. So lots of work going on there. I still have a lot left to do. I'm gonna have to get a bigger box. And then I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time washing this because these parts are very, very dirty. But that's part of the reason why I haven't taken down the teleprompter setup, just because I do have to fill the Lego Modulex video and like all the, the scripted content part. So I don't wanna mess that up until I finish that part of the content, but that's pretty much what's going on here in my Lego room today. The coolest thing just happened as I was sorting all this Lego Modulex. So I'm just sorting it out for the other video. And as I already mentioned, there are some just like regular generic Lego systems parts mixed in as well. Like there's still a one by four plate. And one of the things I found was a, a one by six white brick. And I took the brick out of here and I just tossed it into the bin of bricks over here. And then I was doing other stuff in the Lego room and I walked by, look what that brick says. Oh my God. This is a Canada Post brick. It was a one by six. When I found it here in the bin, it was like turned over this way. I didn't see that it was a Canada Post brick. Even when I took it out, I just didn't see it. And then I just like tossed it in and it just so happened to turn up that it was Canada Post. I don't have any of the Canada Post Lego sets. This is something I've always really, really wanted. This is, this is incredible. This is obviously a huge bonus because I did not know that any Lego systems parts would be in the Modulex bin, let alone a very rare part like this. And it's in very, very good condition. Canada Post there, which is awesome. I just found it on Bricklink here. It actually came out in 1984 to 1985. So this is like one of the oldest Lego pieces that I probably have. This is incredible. It is a one by six. All right, let's view the price guide for used. Current used. Holy crap, this brick is worth $22. Just this one little brick is $22. Like they don't even have any for sale. Current items used, $27.61. Oh my gosh, that's actually insane. Holy, I'm so excited for this. If you guys are watching that Lego Modulex video, um, you guys would know that I paid only $10 for this entire case. So not only did I get the case itself, all of these Modulex bricks down here, but also a $22 Canada Post 1x6 brick. I think this is the one of the best Lego finds I've honestly ever had. I'm here in my kitchen right now and I'm actually just washing all of the Lego Modulex. I'm doing it here in my kitchen just because I needed a little bit of a bigger space for a larger towel and because I wanted to use the strainer here. So because these parts are so tiny, I didn't want to just throw them in the sink and like lose them. So I've been putting a few handfuls at a time here in my kitchen strainer and then just putting it here in the water and soaking it all up. Is it really doing anything? I don't know, but at least they feel a lot cleaner than they did because they were really dirty, dusty, and hairy, and ugh, I didn't like it. All right, so I've got all of the Modulex bricks washed here. They're all laying out here on my kitchen counter to dry. So many little bricks here. Like, they look like regular Lego bricks, if you don't know, just looking at it on camera here. But then when you, like, when I pick it up here, you guys are able to see that these are not so tiny, they are not just regular Lego bricks. 
And alrighty, you guys, that actually brings us to the end of vlog number 19. Thank you so much for tuning in today to see everything going on here in my Lego room, in the Lego life, the Lego universe. Lots of fun building Lego. Super glad that I'm finally feeling a little bit better. Finally glad that I was able to finish sorting, well, like, finish the first round of sorting, work on Modulex, work on some really fun videos for minifigures, just work on some really cool things. I've, I've, I'm feeling inspired, I'm feeling motivated, and I've got lots of really great things coming, and I cannot wait to share them with you all. So once again, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Please don't remember to like, comment, and of course, subscribe to this channel. This is the channel where I post only vlog footage, so you guys are not going to want to miss out. New videos every Sunday, every two weeks. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you enjoyed, as I said, don't forget to like, comment, and of course, subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you here in the next video.